Hey guys, welcome back to Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. Blondie here, and today we're going to be making a painting on a tiny canvas. Like this canvas fits in the palm of my hand. I had to zoom in to make this look like a decent size. So, this canvas is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So, I'm going to take off the plastic wrap. And, oh, I almost forgot to say what we're going to paint. Oh, my gosh. We're going to be painting something that looks a little bit like that. It's going to be a bat Halloween painting. But, obviously, I'm not going to give you guys too many spoilers. Because, um, then you'll just jump off the video, obviously. Let's try that again. So, now our canvas is ready to be painted on. So, I'm going to show you guys the paint that I use, but you can use any kind of paint. I use Craft Smart, and I'm going to be using the color Light Orange, Orange, and Orange Spice. This is the brand that I recommend for this type of art, because it's pretty watery, and you can find it really cheap at a store like Michael's or on, on Amazon. But another good brand would be Apple Barrel. It is a bit thicker but it is about the same price and you can find it at Walmart. You will also need a sponge brush. This one is super tiny and it is shaped like a heart but the shape won't really affect anything with the artwork so you can just use any shape you want. I believe I got this sponge brush from Michaels but you can also find them at Walmart. So what you're going to do is just squeeze really tiny little dots of your paint onto the canvas. You don't need that many, and make sure that they're pretty small. Oh, also guys, in case you're wondering what that O stands for, it stands for orange, because I always use these when I make orange sponge paintings, which I like to call galaxy art. But you can call them whatever you want. And as you can see, it's okay if the colors touch a bit. And so your canvas should look like this. And what you're going to do is take your sponge brush and just start dotting, like dabbing it up and down. And this might get a little bit messy, so make sure you're doing this on a surface that you can get a little bit of paint on. And make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't mind getting paint on too. And guys, make sure you paint the edges. And I can magically do it here by just doing this. Ta-da! And for the sake of this video, I won't make you guys wait for the paint to dry. So I'm just going to bring in another one that I've painted that does look a slightly different, but that's okay. And now I'm going to draw bats on it. Just drew on the bats. Guys, you can do as many as you want. I just decided to do four so that my canvas wouldn't be too crowded. Now what you're going to do is fill in these bats with Sharpie. But what I'm going to be using is a paint pen. If you have a paint pen, you can use that. But most people might not have these, so you can just use a Sharpie if you don't have a paint marker. Okay, guys, and that's the end of this craft. This was a really short and simple video. And your bats might look a bit odd like mine, but, you know, they're bats flying up against the sun or the moon or whatever you want this to be. And from far away, like, that looks pretty good. And also, the point of this is just to have fun, so don't worry about making it perfect. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for more fun videos on this channel. I post on this channel every Monday and Thursday, and I post on my second channel every Tuesday and Friday. See you guys soon. Bye.